going on? This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, and I hope you are ready for a real treat because in this food adventure, I'm rematching a burrito challenge I lost earlier on this trip, but this time, you might just notice a subtle difference. But before I get into that, I just want to recap this challenge, which is Zep Batista Burrito Bar's Belly Buster Burrito Challenge. And long story short, it's basically a big burrito, lots of filling, 10 minutes to finish this thing, that's all that really matters. <laughs> now a few things I do want to note about this time around, I was able to change what I had for my filling, and I don't remember if that was the case last time, or if it was one of those things where I just didn't know any better, or if I just didn't think much of it. But this time around, I had all of my filling comprised of sweet potato chili, which is sweet potato, peppers, red kidney beans, and then it's roasted with cumin, garlic, and red chili. And oh my goodness, it was so fantastic. But Anyways, there's also some specialty salsa, and again, I don't remember offhand, but I do remember it was some sort of special salsa of the month. And I decided to go with that because first of all, it sounded amazing, which it absolutely was. But also, it did sound like it was something that was going to be easier to eat fast, with more of the ingredients being on a softer consistency. And because of that, I wouldn't need to spend much time drinking, and with only 10 minutes in this challenge, it's definitely something you need to be aware of during this challenge. And then lastly, I did find out for this challenge that the record is 6 minutes and 45 seconds. And with that being said, I do want to take some time now to address the massive elephant in the room. And for those of you who haven't seen the previous video, which you should probably check out that one before seeing this one, otherwise it won't make too much sense. But the fact is, this burrito is significantly different in size compared to the previous one at the other location. I mean, these might not be the best angles, but the first challenge was definitely girthier, as it was almost bursting out of the tortilla when I was served because it was so packed. Though I do think they were in the wrong for not making the correct size of the burrito, especially in my case where it was probably the difference between a win and a loss. The point of this video really isn't to criticize the restaurant, but really to show you that while it doesn't happen all the time, things like this do happen enough where it is a thing. And not just to myself, but to other food fighters as well. Which is why I don't have much of an issue when it comes to being more transparent about my food adventures, whether that's my reviews on the restaurants and their food challenges, or letting you know if the restaurant tries pulling a little witchcraft of their own. And if you're cool with that, I would greatly appreciate it if you showed your support by leaving a little magic of your own, by liking and leaving a comment down below so we can keep the conversation going, and if you want to continue to see more videos like this one and see how the rest of this tour unfolds, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you never miss a video and I'll see you in the next food adventure.